In these problems, we are dealing with this formula that gives the length of a skid mark in feet related to the speed in miles per hour is given by this function, where h is a constant that depends on the road surface. It's a, it's a friction coefficient, in this case it's 0.85. So in the first one, we're actually given the speed. So we're given that s equals 55 and s to calculate with this function. So we'll do that with the calculator. So we have 1 divided by, now you want to put this in parentheses, 30 times the h, which we are given is 0.85, times the speed squared. And so we get the length of the skid mark is about 118.6 feet, which is answer D. Next one, now we're given how fast does a person have to be going to produce a skid mark of 230 feet. So that's L, so 230 equals 1 over 30 times H times S squared. So we're going to solve this for S squared. So we'll multiply both sides by 30H. So we're going to get that S squared equals 30 times H times 230. Now we can do this in the calculator. So we have 30 times our h, which was given as 0 0.85, times 230, enter. Now remember, that's not our answer. It also wouldn't make sense for someone to be going that fast. We have to square root that answer, because we solve for s squared. So somebody be going roughly about 76 and a half miles an hour, or 77 miles per hour. So in the first one, we're given an input, find the output. In the second one, we're given the output, find the input. The last one, according to this formula, what is the effect of doubling your speed on the stopping distance? So, what, so they're asking what would happen is if we doubled the speed. So if we went twice as fast as we were going, well because it gets squared, what's going to happen is that's going to become a 4s squared. So we'll have 1 over 30h times 4s squared, and what you'll see is that it's actually, when we simplify, it's right down here, we have 4 times 1 over 30h s squared. Well, this is what it originally was. Now it's 4 times as great. So what we found is because of the square doubling the speed, x results in 4 times the length of the skid mark, and so that's answer C, the stopping distance, is four times as great. So be careful that when you have a power, you have to make sure that you raise that constant to the power as well. So you have a little property of exponents in there.